Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. It is your good morning show. I'm ready to talk with you here about uh, what's going on. Yeah, hey, it's Monday. I'm not here on Mondays usually. Usually I'm, uh, let's see, at this time I'm just arriving at uh, Seclair out in Export. Uh, but we're moving things around so we can have a little bit of a media day and uh, get some staff in front of the camera so we can do some promotional videos. Um, if you want to check, check out what we're doing over there, I do a lot of the videos and the social media work over at seclair.com. That's S E C L A I r e r dot com if that's right off the top of my head it's been there with about four years it's been uh it's been an interesting time uh and been able to stretch my legs a little bit when it comes to uh working with a lot of this stuff and uh been able to experiment with a lot, a lot a great podcast they're doing over there um educational grand rounds talking about a lot of the stuff that they're talking about in mental health and and health in general for instance um last couple of weeks for you know for example uh including uh bottled water why it's not that great for you you know stuff like that um and anxiety and stuff uh, but anyways i digress uh so this week it was friday uh was a very coffee filled day if you didn't notice i did pre-tape friday mornings uh shows uh, I had a costume change, so you wouldn't notice. Um, but uh, had a chance to go out to the uh, Open Coffee Club for Alpha Lab. The recently moved Alpha Lab to the Cube Space over there in East Liberty. Um, this is a group that you know I've talked about a lot and and followed a lot over the years. Went to their demo day last year. I think was here on an episode of this for instance. Um, and, and I like going to these coffee clubs because it, it's a chance to get down there and see what company is going in. It's a, it's a, it's a group that does these cycles. Um, you know, where new startup companies come through, they get some guidance, a little bit of funding, a little bit of investment, and uh, it really helps them kind of kickstart into into the next level. And some really, you know, fantastic companies have come out of this. Stuff like No Weight that's really kind of uh, uh, doing very, very well right now. Resumator, which I think got bought by somebody uh, really big. Um, you know, really cool stuff. And I just... Um, but uh, like I said, they had uh, uh, their coffee club uh, on Friday, and here's a little picture, bit of pictures from their own Twitter account, if you guys are on the video. Um, in their new space, not as wide open as their space over in the south side used to be, um, but uh, still still pretty tremendous. It forces everybody to get together because we're all packed into a room here in uh, in East Liberty. But, uh, you know, it's it's always interesting. And, 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 well, the biggest problem I have is I never know who the companies are. Um, although I did not realize, and I, I don't know if this is a new bit, but they do have pictures of everybody right on their website uh, from the current company. So I need to make sure I utilize that a bit more. So there's a little hot tip if you're ever going to an Alpha Lab Open Coffee Club. Uh, there's pictures right here. Uh, so you can maybe say, oh, that's the guy that from that thing that sounds really interesting. Uh, go check that out. And actually, I think the ones on their front front page are not actually updated uh but i think i've went to companies it looked like the people that i talked with yeah no, that's about right no, that's about right um but uh but no, always really good to you know talk with other people doing other interesting things uh, in the creative fields and, and see what's going on um and a little bit of networking going on um but uh i, I always like uh, to see who i'm going to run into and see who the the you know great companies are uh, coming up and who's got some interesting ideas that I really hope to take off, uh, including uh, the guys over at Who You, which uh, we're expected to have on the uh, show uh, tomorrow for for Awesome Cast this week. Um, but uh, which is a uh, you know just briefly, it's just a little app. It's a networking app for just like networking events like this. To kind of say, hey, here's my face. Come seek me if you're into X, Y, and Z. Or maybe there's an X by their name and they don't want to see anybody. Maybe they want to go seek people out and that's the only reason they're there. Um, a really interesting idea uh, using Bluetooth technology. Um, and I guess they're really early in the process. Uh, but what we talked about them uh, on AwesomeCast this week, we're scheduled to and uh, be able to check that out. There was another uh, group that I talked with um, off the top of my head that, that they're doing uh, analyzing text. To the point where you know you're analyzing to see uh, maybe the, the the emotional temperature of somebody that wrote like a customer service uh, complaint or something like that, and and and, and I guess the idea is it'll, it'll push them to a uh, push them to like say like like which version of the script to to kind of handle the situation, which was a, a pretty cool concept and, and and it had actually a lot of applications. I think they were talking about a little bit of a, you know this could be an application in in law you know to see you know if, if you know said person actually wrote this or something. Um, so really cool, crazy algorithm kind of stuff, and I think they've been working on it for a bit. 
Uh, good to see them in there. I also got into an interesting conversation on Twitter that really kind of went along with this. Because, I mean, East Liberty, and even uh, later in the day, I, I ended up back in East Liberty for a coffee meeting uh, for some stuff uh, we're hoping to do do around here. Um, you know, East Liberty kind of turned into, I, mean, I said to somebody 10 years ago, East Liberty was a place where I was kind of scared to go into um, because it was seemed like a rundown, really, really neighborhood. And now you go in there and there's all these kinds of companies, you know, uh, you know, it's very, you know, we talk about gentrification when we had uh, Josh Lucas from the hardware store on awesome cast. Um, and unfortunately, I think that's a lot of what's happened there. Um, but still. Still, it is an interesting hotbed for these companies coming up and how it's become kind of this 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 space to to, to build things like this has been really, really intriguing. Um, to the point where I was, I was being talked into by a colleague on Twitter. It's like, so you should join the beauty shop. And I'm like, I don't think I need a space. Um, I mean, I have my lovely $50 studio right here. It's all decorated to my taste, as you can see, if you're on the video version of this cast. Um, and uh, I, I just, you know, I get a lot done with my my green screen here. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, I can't take this with me. You know, um, I'd love to do a bit of the uh, collaboration, you know, uh, uh, bits of it. But, uh, man, I, 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 and it was an open invite to go check out the beauty shop anytime. And, and I think I will, but maybe somewhere, somewhere way, way down the lines. Um, but actually, uh, for, for my needs, I think that the best option and, and the one I'm looking into and one when I acro this studio space and need a little bit more, and it's kind of nice because it's just a hill over on, in Allentown, um, it is the, is the hardware store. Um, but, uh, but, but you know, the beauty shop looks interesting because I mean, this, this seems like something if I'm just like a startup that needs office space. Um, cause they have like several, they have a couple locations. I guess they just started Cleveland too. Um, and these are the kind of like cool little co-working spaces that a little company like mine, you know, who's just incorporated, maybe doesn't have a lot going on yet, you know, can really get into and get a space and kind of feel like a big company or feel like a more significant company and get a lot of work done, you know, not around my cat, you know? Um, and the other one, you know, if you haven't checked it out, like I said, there's one over here and this is kind of, they're trying to build something up and I think they're doing a really good job because it looks like there's a lot of people in there. It looks like there's a lot of stuff coming out of what they're doing here is the hardware store. And we, like I said, we've had Josh Lucas on the show talking about what they're doing in there. Um, you know, previously. But, the, but the biggest appeal for me are the facilities. They have a green screen. They have a, a, a studio. Um, the guys from Epicast uh, are, are running out of there. And I, I think they do a lot of their podcasting in the studio. They have a lot of events and uh, it, it's, it's, my only detraction from this is, you know, the neighborhood, because I know it's a bad neighborhood. I know somebody that lives there. It's, uh, you know, I don't know if that's someplace I want to drive every day, you know, but um, but very intriguing. And, and I'm kind of in a wait and see and see how these guys kind of develop as far as me. And, and it was even as far as me, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm simply not in a position to to buy a desk. You know, uh, someplace like this, especially just recently becoming incorporated and we're still kind of settling into what that means for the organization around here. We are talking with some people about coming on uh, in a certain certain fashion, you know, um, so so it's uh, it's really interesting and really interesting to see what's going on now. But this is something where we do need, you know, if we do need a space that we need to get, you know, not just here, you know, um, and, 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 and I like the services, like they're really kind of pushed the idea. Like <laughs> when we were talking about it, hardware store came home and said, you know, Hey, everybody's really kind of made back their, made back their, their desks in like six months, you know? Um, because I guess there is some, some kind of like, uh, you know, freelancing, uh, uh, networking that goes on up there and then that may be advantageous for something that i do to, for a little more outreach and networking than what i'm doing here because i mean let's be honest i'm not you know you're, you're you're only good at certain things i'm really good supposedly at this creative stuff and uh maybe not so much the business or client acquisition part right well, i try i try so hard <laughs> that's why i do things like this to get out there get in front of people you know um so I, you know, it's it, it's interesting to see these options. See the options are there, and and it's not like it's uh it's it's so wildly out of my reach to do something like a hardware store. Um, it's just not the right time for me um, because of a lot of different kind of business reasons. But uh, but it'd be nice to 
you know, have a place that's maybe not just a coffee shop. Although I love patron, being a patron of my local coffee shop and giving them business. Um, but, uh, you know, you know, here, here in that one lady's stories over and over again, maybe I need to move on. Uh, <laughs> so let me think. If you want to check them out, Work Hard PGH is the one. Uh, Thebeautyshop.org, and that's S-H-O-P-P-E for shop a fun way of spelling that and of course alpha lab uh i think it's just alpha lab.com uh alpha lab.org actually it includes alpha lab alpha lab gear if you're making more of a hardware based kind of thing they kind of did a spin off there um fantastic people working over there um i met one of the I, I, I met a couple uh, newer staff actually with Alpha Lab and I've been conversing with one for a while about what's going on over there. And we're hoping to get them involved more on AwesomeCast. Please check out AwesomeCast.net. I got some very exciting guests lined up, including the guys from Who You, the uh, app I mentioned earlier. I'm sorry, I, I realized I didn't I didn't uh, put that up there. But you can get all those links over at alphalab.org for all the companies that are, that are running out of there now. Um, and I got a very special guest uh, coming up here in uh, two weeks. I think we're going to have them scheduled. And uh, and I'm hoping to get a little more involvement uh, with guys like Alpha Lab and, and other companies. And maybe we'll talk to guys from Beauty Shop, too. I don't know. You know th- this is my wish list right now. Sorgatron.com, please uh, subscribe. Look for the Good Morning uh, up on iTunes. If you're on iTunes, just search Sorgatron Media and you'll, you'll see everything that I got going on in the audio form right now, including this and Awesome Cast and uh, scores of stuff. Maybe that'll surprise you. And of course, uh, you can look for Good Morning with Michael Sorg on YouTube to subscribe to the video version of this channel and Sorgatron.com. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Everybody, please, please have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.